Hey, it's Walt, K4OGO. I'm on the beach in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. It's early morning, the gray line is coming over, so it's gonna be a pretty good little day here for some VX. It's December and it's almost 70 degrees. Really crazy warm. Got some new toys. Got my VX Commander 10 meter travel pole. And I've got the Nelson antennas, Matchbox. We're gonna put up an antenna today and see what we can do. Stick around. <laughs> Okay, here's what we're working with today. There's the DX Commander 10 meter travel pole that I just got. I built this thing. This is gonna be the sand base, or foundation or whatever we're gonna call it here. I made this out of two inch PVC Schedule 40 pipe with a reducer up to three inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe. These are both about two foot long each or a grand total of about four feet. Let's see if that works. We're gonna be doing this with the Zygu G90, the Nelson Antenna Matchbox. I've got a 35 foot counterpoise. I put a fishing sinker on the end of that, put it out towards the water. And we're using a 29 foot vertical on this random wire antenna. Let's put it together, check it out, see how it works. Okay, it's up. There it is. That's awesome. That's a sexy antenna right there, baby. It's pretty cool. Got the uh, counterpoise right out to the water. Um, this is pretty easy, too. I'm surprised how quick I got it up. Everything's set up over here, ready to go. We're going to start off on 20 this morning and see if we can make some contacts. Let's rock and roll. The unknown I was using today was the Nelson Antennas Matchbox. I got it on eBay. It's a great match. 29 foot vertical wire with a 35 foot counterpoise is what I went with and uh, on, went right, right over to 20 meters and started making contacts all over Europe just to name a few Slovenia, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Germany, Switzerland. It was really uh, working well especially with just 20 watts on the beach. I was really having a great time. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. One really cool contact I made on 20 meters was R5AJ in Moscow, which is about 5,000 miles from where I was located, and this may be one of the best 20-watt QSOs I've ever made. Uh, QSL, you are 5'8 here. I'm uh, 20 watts portable on the beach in North Carolina, USA. Thank you very much. After that, I jumped over to 17 meters where I made contacts with Poland, Germany, Switzerland, and Italy. Then over to 15 meters, a band I rarely work. And uh, this antenna performed well on 15 meters as well. That's great, that's great. I have the uh, DX Commander 10 meter pole. I have a wire up on it, just a uh, random wire with a uh, one counterpoise that I got down into the ocean. Yeah, unbelievable. You can hear very well in Northern Italy. Ciao, Walt. Happy New Year. Ciao, thank you, 73. Thank you for calling, Walt. India, Whiskey 3, India, Bravo Kilo. Be me North America. The antenna tuned up well on all bands from 80 to 10 meters. I checked them all out. Um, the SWR was surprisingly super low, like 1 to 0, to about 1 to 4 all across it. So I took it over to 40 and tried it out and jumped in on a net, and uh, here you go. Hey, good morning, good morning. I'm sitting on the beach uh, up the coast from you a little bit. I'm in the Outer Banks of North Carolina with 20 watts portable. I've got a uh, random wire up in the air and a counterpoise in the ocean, and I'm just having a little bit of fun this morning. Heard you guys, and uh, go Navy. I'm a, a Navy contractor myself. I live up in the Norfolk area, so it's good to uh, good to check in with you guys. All right, appreciate it, Walt, and uh, 
amazing experience and I'm really pleased with this uh, anchor say I don't know we're gonna have to give it a name the uh, coastal waves of wire sand anchor or sand mount but uh, it worked out good I mean it really worked out good and um, it held this antenna I mean, at times while I was operating that thing was breezing yeah the three stars of this show were definitely the DX commander 10 meter travel pole the Nelson antenna matchbox, that thing was just amazing. And the um, mount, the we'll call it the Coastal Waves and Wires sand mount that I built there. That thing came out pretty good. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I like to do this. I like to go to beaches and set up different antennas and do different things portable. And uh, having a lot of fun with that. So uh, until next time, this is Walt K4OGO73.